there are some major, if not shocking, benefits of iodine I want to discuss. Every single cell in your body needs iodine because iodine is not just for the thyroid. Okay, the thyroid consumes about six milligrams of iodine every single day, but the breast tissue consumes five milligrams every single day. And the question is, why would the breast tissue and other tissues need iodine? We're going to get there. The ovaries, the brain, the lining of your stomach, even your eyes require significant amounts of iodine. I mean, it's not very mysterious why Japanese women in Japan have very low incidence of getting breast cancer. They consume 25 times more iodine than women in the US. Even men that consume the highest amount of iodine have a 29% lowered risk of getting prostate cancer. So what's the mechanism of iodine on cancer? Well, number one, it's highly anti-estrogenic. And we know that if you have estrogen dominance, it puts you at risk for cancer, especially of the breast, the ovary, the uterus. Some women even use Lugo's solution. It's an iodine solution with a little bit of oil and they rub it into the breast as a way of reducing fibrocystic breast. Iodine also has another effect on cancer cells. It causes the cancer cell to commit suicide. Iodine also strengthens the thyroid, which increases your overall health and your resistance against health problems. Iodine improves the immune system and iodine also reduces inflammation. And it's very important for anyone who's pregnant to consume enough iodine. A deficiency of iodine in pregnant women can increase the risk of miscarriage, as well as increase the chance of ADHD. And one big myth out there is that you got to be careful about taking too much iodine. Did you realize that iodine is the only trace mineral that can safely be taken in extremely large amounts? I'm talking like a hundred thousand times the RDA. Iodine is considered what's called a, a halogen. And so they all compete with each other. That can create a problem with iodine. Well, good thing we don't consume a lot of fluoride or even bromide, right? And I'm being very sarcastic because they put bromide in breads, fluoride in the water supply, and it's in your toothpaste. So there's one really cool thing you can do to kind of get that stuff out of the body. You can just take more of iodine. And what I would do if you wanted to do a detox, if you were concerned about that, is for several days, consume a good amount of water with unrefined sea salt. Then you would start taking Lugo's solution. Now, this is a mixture of two different types of iodine because different tissues absorb different types of iodine. You would start taking the solution and follow the instructions on the bottle for about five days, okay? And then you take two days off to let it detox. And if you're doing a detox, you probably wanna also add some other things too, like vitamin C. And I would recommend taking between three and nine grams, not milligrams, and about 400 milligrams of magnesium, 100 milligrams of selenium, and the complete B-complex. By doing that, you can help clear out these halogens and replace it with iodine. However, if you have hyperthyroidism, do not take iodine. Some people think that they're allergic to iodine because they're allergic to shellfish. No one can be actually allergic to a mineral. They're usually allergic to something in the fish, okay? So people that have shellfish allergies usually can take iodine. And another point that I want to bring up about the foods that are goitrogenic, which basically block iodine, like kale and broccoli and all the cruciferous vegetables, lima beans. If you take sea kelp on a regular basis, that can easily counter any potential bad effects. Also, you can take higher amounts of iodine for respiratory viruses. And the last point is that iodine also binds with mercury and aluminum. So that's another way to help reduce the toxic effect of certain metals. There's a lot more benefits to iodine that I'm going to tell you. I did an older video on iodine that it was actually really popular. If you haven't seen that, I think you'll enjoy it. I put it up right here. Check it out. Let's talk about the eight unexpected benefits of iodine. Now, iodine is this trace mineral. Now, you don't need a lot of it, but you definitely need the right amount. And if you don't have the right amount, all sorts of things can happen in your body simply because every single cell in the entire body needs iodine, not just the thyroid. Now your thyroid is the iodine hog. 
it'll tend to suck up a lot of the iodine that you have and not leave much for anything else. So just because your thyroid is working and you don't have any thyroid symptoms doesn't mean you have ample amounts of iodine. So it's not just about having adequate amounts of iodine. It's about having enough for all of your cells. And unfortunately, the current um, RDAs for iodine are way too low. It's recommended that we need about 150 micrograms per day. But people in Japan, which have very low rates of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, are consuming 100 times that amount. But it's mainly from sea kelp because sea kelp is one of the best sources of iodine. Now, I want to be totally transparent with you. I do have a Dr. Berg brand sea kelp. And yes, I do have a very strong bias on my own brand as far as the quality and where it's sourced from. But here's my point. A lot of people are deficient in iodine. And unfortunately, it's just not in our foods anymore unless you're consuming foods from the ocean like shellfish or sea kelp, like seaweed, et cetera. Now, there's a really simple way to determine if you're deficient in iodine. Simply go to your local drugstore and get a little bottle of iodine and some cotton balls, okay? And then what you do is you take a little iodine, put it on a cotton ball, and rub it either on the inside of your upper arm or your forearm or the inside of your leg, roughly in about a two inch diameter. Now make sure it doesn't touch your other clothes because it can stain your other clothes. And you could put a bandaid over it if you want, but if you're deficient within one hour, it'll be gone. The stain will be gone because your skin absorbs it. So if after an hour, it's still like orangish yellow, then you're usually not deficient. But I would say probably over a billion people on this planet have an iodine deficiency and a lot more of them have a subclinical iodine deficiency that might not show up um, if people are just focusing on the thyroid symptoms. I mean, our bodies utilize iodine for many different reasons. Um, one really uh, interesting way it uses iodine is detoxifying mercury, lead. When you get enough iodine and you're exposed to lead and mercury, you'll see higher levels coming through the urine because your body's able to get rid of it. Also in your body's ability to detoxify fluoride and bromide, okay, which is in a lot of the flower products, which has the ability to deplete iodine. But of course, if you've been watching my videos, you don't have to worry about that because you're not consuming refined grains. So what I wanna do with this video is show you all the unexpected benefits of having sufficient iodine that really don't have a lot to do with the thyroid, okay? Number one, it's ability to shrink cysts, okay? Cysts that are developing in the breast tissue, like in fibrocystic breast, cyst on the ovaries, cyst in your uterus, and of course, cyst even on the thyroid. These cysts that are created, uh, if they just don't have enough iodine over time, they develop into nodules and they can also develop into cancer. That's why iodine has anti-cancer properties. And iodine is really good at regulating um, estrogen dominance. If you have too much estrogen, iodine can help bring that down to a normal level. Okay, number two, I've done a whole video on this. Iodine helps to reduce the size of skin tags and warts. If you haven't seen my video on that, I put that down below. All right, next one is in its ability to help break down um, connective tissue in a condition called Dupertons contracture. That's a situation where you have a scar tissue on some of your tendons in your finger and your finger is just like stuck. You'd want to put topical iodine on there each day. And within about a month, you should see some pretty good results. And that relates to the next benefit, uh, scar regeneration. So let's say, for example, you have a keloid or some surgical scar, and you put iodine into that scar each day over a period of about a month, you're going to see some pretty cool results. You might even see hair growth that occurs right over the scar. Now, if you're concerned about uh, it staining your skin, they do have a type of iodine that is clear, that doesn't stain your skin. But iodine helps break down scar tissue. All right, the next unexpected benefit would be on your mood. If you have depression, iodine many times can improve it. Now, they don't know exactly why. It could be because it's improving your thyroid gland, which can bring up your mood. 
or could be involved in certain um, neurotransmitters in your brain. They don't know. But iodine can actually bring you up mood-wise. All right, next one, it can help shrink uh, stones in your parotid glands. Now, your parotid gland helps you make saliva. So having enough iodine can even prevent those stones from occurring. Iodine can help reduce hot flashes as well as heavy menstrual cycles because of what it does to estrogen. It helps to balance estrogen. And last very cool effect is it can help reduce cystic acne, which by the way is many times related to too much estrogen. Now, the next video I want you to watch is a more comprehensive video about iodine, which I think you'll very much enjoy, even though it was a very old video. So check it out. I put it right here.